Probably it is because we're sisters. That makes it easier to work together. We started searching and researching about our roots and heritage and culture like since the um, Arab Spring started. Brody has always been around growing up in our city in Amman with Palestinian roots. You're always around embroidery. It's the symbol of Palestine. But as an architect, seeing all the lines and geometries, for me it was interesting to just think back retrospectively about these ladies and the amount of talent that they had in terms of graphic design and uh, this perfect layout. We knew Auntie Widad through her books before knowing her personally. She's the lady of the Arab dress. The lady of the Arab dress. She invited us to Tiraz and she was curious to know what are we doing with embroidery and how it's not on uh, fabric. Her reaction was amazing. It's not living around us as it used to on the dresses that we are inspired from but thinking of uh, stone wood and brass made us think of a material that would last and embroidery would live on an everlasting material that could be passed on to more than one or two generations we're trying to add our signature, our identity, and something that we feel that we need to add to it. We have to, especially for what's happening right now. It's just a way for keeping them alive or for keeping their rights alive. When you engage into something and when you pour your, your soul into something, it is taking care of it. And I think this is what we're doing. We're taking care of embroidery in our own way as a designer and an architect.